What's going on everybody? Jem Mint here back with another statue unboxing and review. Today we're going to be adding to the Dark Knight's metal line from Prime 1 Studio with the one third scale Red Death. This is Batman from Earth 52 which is essentially a Bruce Wayne who has the powers of the Flash but he's evil. Before we jump into the unboxing, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video, hit the like if you're enjoying the content. We are still doing a giveaway for the Deja Thor's premium format by Sideshow once we hit 150,000 subscribers. Stick around to the end, I'll give you more details on that. For now, let's jump into this unboxing. We do have some pamphlets here, an advertisement for the Batman Batcave version of Hush, which I did already do an unboxing for. The back has some cutie ones. It also does come with a 2022 calendar. Very cool. And watch how I flip right to guts. <laughs> so we got that and we have the package contents and assembly instruction pamphlet in here as well, which you are going to need for this piece. And this video will act like a video guide for that as well. So let's get started. We'll remove the top layer. You can see all the different bats. We have a lot of tissue paper. Let's remove all of that and boom start jumping into these pieces so let's start with these two smaller pieces these are little base element pieces that have a lot of weathering and rust to them i like the paint job on those then you have these two shorter pieces of exhaust very weathered and damaged i love that burnt chrome look that looks really awesome and then you have the two longer pieces so this will make more sense during the assembly i'm guessing this is some kind of perverted cosmic treadmill that he's on now we're not going to look at every single bat, we'll just look at a couple of them. If you saw my Batcave Batman Hush review, it had a lot of bats like this with similar kind of keys and pegs and they're all different and you have to line them up, but these actually feel a lot more sturdy and solid, even though it does have a PVC feel. So we'll see all those during assembly. Let's remove this layer and we'll expose the body and some other base elements. There we go. I love that big swoosh. We'll get to that in a moment. First things, let's uh, pull out these skulls. So the skulls have this gnarly paint job with this gray into purple. I love the sculpt on them, even like a greenish tone on the back. Then we have two more skulls. These will all key into the base and gives me Masters of the Universe vibes here. Very well sculpted and a cool paint job on those. Now this big swoosh, I love this big elemental piece. It feels like an anime piece and it does have some translucency to it as well. Awesome addition to this statue. Here we have the gauntlets and I love that pinkish reddish tone of what should be cloth underneath the armor and then that bright candy red, man, that looks awesome. The gauntlets are sculpted in amazingly. Reminds me of the Merciless piece, similar type of sinister armor. And then we have the first portrait here. These portraits are awesome. That kind of grill mouth with the bat wing fins on the side of his head. Amazing paint job here. Fire engine candy red. You could almost see like the sparkles within the helmet here. And then we have another head sculpt here. Same type of vibe, but a little bit of a different design. The fins are much larger on the side of the head. A different type of mouth grill. Same great eyebrows with the red eyes and paint job as well. Let's get them together so you can see the subtle differences. So you can see just a slight change in the design. And then the body, again, love that kind of different pinkish red underneath the armor and then the shininess of the metallic red. I like how he keys into the rock there that looks super clean once we'll get him assembled. You can see the bat slash flash logo on the chest. Just an awesome sculpt and character design altogether. You see more of that exposed back here, less armor. All right, guys, now let's go to the second box real quick. We'll take a look at the art box. Very similar to the first one that we've seen. Got the styrofoam on here as well. So this is just one layer and this is going to be the base and just one other piece. And here we go. <laughs> Pretty big box. Let's lift off this lid and here you can see the pieces inside. So you have the tissue paper, which we'll remove. And there we go. We can see that huge base and a very large skull. Let's go ahead and grab that skull real quick. So this is significantly larger than the other ones. It's almost uh, a half scale skull. Same cool paint job with that greenish gray to purple. And then we have the base here. So the base is huge. Not going to be able to lift this up and hang under the camera. So let's get it on the turntable and spin it around and we'll get a good look at it. All right. So not really sure what this is supposed to be. It's this huge piece of rock. You have like what looks like his mask. 
uh, this bronze type of contraption, but then you have these exhausts behind it. Like I said, I think it's supposed to be like a Dark Knight's cosmic treadmill. But you can already see where those other exhausts will complement what's going on in the back there. You have this nice contrast between bronze and gray rock. He's going to look great up top of this, so let's start putting it together. First, we're going to put that big swoosh, that anime type of piece. That'll go in the back. The red death, he will key in right in front of that. Seamless, the way that he's already connected to that rock. And then that large skull will go front and center, almost like a ship. And all right, there we go. Let's go ahead to the side, start getting the exhaust there. We're going to put the smaller one on there first. Followed by the longer one. We have that little base element, that little triangle will go here. And then we'll get some of these bats keyed in. <laughs> so this one was easier than Batman Hush. So that's one bat and then up behind it, we'll put this one. All right, we'll put those skulls on the back of the base by his right foot. That's where those two will go. Onto the other side, same thing with the exhaust. We'll put the smaller one, we'll put the larger one there. We'll start getting some bats put on here as well. And can't forget that other little triangle piece on the bottom. All right, moving along. We have more skulls to put on the base. There are five total, so now they're all in. This skull has a piece of rock on top, which will house a bat. So. We'll stick the bat in here, but another bat will key into that wing. And I actually had to take them both off to get the third bat on there, similar to the Batman hush. But now that we have all three, we'll key them in. And it almost rests against that swoosh in the back. There we go. Then we can put this bat on the back. All right, and then one more that just attaches to that wing. <laughs> so many bats. All right, let's get these gauntlets on, starting with his right hand. That's easy enough. Left hand gauntlet. And then let's put the portraits on. So first portrait, do a quick zoom to see what it looks like. This one's a little bit more subtle. I do like it, but I like the other portrait, I think, a little bit better. It's a little bit more exaggerated. He's got the longer fins. He's got what seems like a gnarlier grill. But those are both portraits. Before we get into the full review, I want to thank that Spider-Man booth for sponsoring this video. Make sure you're following them over on Whatnot for daily live comic book auctions. You could win CGC key issues and get some great exclusive variants from their sister site, Street Level Hero. If you haven't, you can download Whatnot in the link in the description. It'll actually give you a $10 credit that you can use towards your first purchase. And there we have it, the one-third scale Red Death from Prime One Studio, part of the Dark Knight's metal line. And this piece doesn't disappoint. He is huge. Luckily, facing kind of on a diagonal, so he's not as tall. Speaking of height, let's get the dimensions. It seems like maybe he is the tallest point on his head here. So the red depth, he is about 27 inches tall. The depth of this piece is about 18 inches. And the width, I mean, you're looking at about 16 inches for the base but about 25 inches when you have those bats hanging across the ledge like that. And we'll speak about the bats in a moment. This piece retailed $1,355 for the exclusive, which this piece is actually the exclusive. I would have thought the portrait that I'm displaying is the, uh, the exclusive, but it's actually this one. $1,305 for the collector's edition, which honestly, I think you're good either way. I think those portraits are similar enough where it's not really like uh, an exclusive or fail. Starting at the base, like I said, it's this perverted cosmic treadmill. You have these exhaust pipes that have burnt chrome at the tips. It's melded in with rock, with skull and bones, and littered with all of these bats everywhere, which I hope isn't a theme with this line because these bats can be a pain to assemble. But like I said, this one was much easier than the Batman and Batcave one. The body is huge, like I said. Luckily, diagonal so that it saves us on space and I really love this swoosh behind him. It complements the piece so well and adds a lot of contrast to this dark 
bronze, gold, and gray concrete of a base. The detail in the sculpt is amazing. You could literally sit here and stare at all the intricacies in not only the armor, but the undergarment, which has that lighter tone, all of the line work and stitching, the folds and muscle definition that you can see there as well, which ends with the Red Death just lunging towards you as he's going super fast speed. He's got the power of the Flash, but he's an evil version of Bruce Wayne. Another amazing piece to add to this line. So far, we've got what? Batman Who Laughs, The Merciless, and now Red Death. Uh, more are coming soon, so excited to add. Unfortunately, my display is not ready yet, which is why we're recording in this temporary room. But I cannot wait to pair this guy with the other pieces from that line. Let me know what you think about the Red Death in the comments down below. And like I said, we're doing a giveaway once we hit 150,000 subscribers. We're giving away the quarter scale Deja Thoris by Sideshow. All you got to do is be subscribed, leave a like, and comment on this video. Once we reach the milestone, I'll pick a random video where I promoted the giveaway and use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a worldwide winner. In the meantime, I'm going to leave you with the Red Death spinning on the turntable. Y'all stay minty fresh. Peace.